Hello, Radnor Township third graders. Every year we look forward to this opportunity. So even though you guys are not able to visit the businesses in Wayne right now, we are very grateful to your teachers that they invited us to make these videos so that you can still complete your project. Your teachers provided us all with a list of questions. So I'm going to uh, read from the list of questions and then answer them as best I can. So here we go. Number one is the name of the business and the business that I run in Wayne is the Wayne Hotel. And number two is uh, asking my name and my name is David Brennan. That's B-R-E-N-N-A-N. Number three asks what my job is and my job is general manager here at the Wayne Hotel. The fourth question asks, why locate your business in Wayne? And the answer to that is very simply just to provide a place for people to stay and a restaurant for people to come and have lunch and dinner and brunch. The fifth question is, how many years has the business been in Wayne? That's really a great question. There's a lot of old buildings in Wayne and the Wayne Hotel was actually built 114 years ago, back when Teddy Roosevelt was president in 1906. And because the building has been so carefully preserved, it is now on the United States National Register of Historic Places. Uh, number six is asking if we provide goods or services. And the hotel is a service business and it provides a place to stay and meals to eat. In fact, after the lockdown, we are going to open a very special new restaurant here in the hotel. And it will be an Italian restaurant called Rosalie. So make sure you tell your folks that we're getting ready to open this new restaurant after the lockdown and we look forward to welcoming you all. The seventh question is how do we provide the goods or services and the way that we do that is people call or make reservations online to stay at the hotel or to come and have a meal in the restaurant and then when they come to the hotel we check them in or when they come to the restaurant we welcome them and seat them and we serve them. The eighth question is asking are most customers from the community? And in our business here at the Wayne Hotel, it's a mix between customers from other places and customers from the community. The ninth question asks, do customers from other areas visit your business? So since we're a hotel, I'm sure you can guess the answer to this question, but because the people in our community already have a place to stay that they call home, most of our customers who come to stay are from other places. Although a few times we do have people from the local community coming to stay in the hotel. As far as the restaurant is concerned, that's also a mix. A lot of customers from the local community and then also um, guests from other places who are staying in the hotel will dine in the restaurant. I think the guest that has traveled the farthest to stay here was from New Zealand, but we've had guests from all over the world over the years at the Wayne Hotel. Your 10th question asks, are there other businesses that offer the same goods or services? And there are. Uh, the next nearest hotel to the Wayne Hotel is the Radnor Hotel. Uh, so question 11 asks, why do customers choose our business? So why do they choose the Wayne Hotel? And honestly, I think that's mostly because the guests that stay here really love the town of Wayne and they like to be able to stay in the middle of town so that they can walk to all the great stores and restaurants, the spas and the coffee shops that we have in town. Uh, the twelfth question is asking, what is an opportunity cost for uh, that our business faces? And a good example of this is when a company wants to book a block of rooms with us at the hotel, they also want to book our best suite, maybe for the president of the company or somebody very important in the company. So because they're booking a block of rooms with us, we give them a very um, 
nicely discounted rate for the suite. And so the opportunity cost is the higher rate that we might have been able to charge somebody else for the same suite. Uh, question number 13, uh, what services does the township provide for us? Well, the police department and the fire department are extremely important to keep us all safe and we're very, very grateful to them for that. And then also in the wintertime, Radnor Township does the best job of plowing snow of any township in this area. And I feel very fortunate in the wintertime when we have snowstorms that the township is out taking care of that so that the businesses can reopen. Uh, the 14th question, how do we depend on other businesses in the community to get things done? So there are a lot of great local businesses that we support and we depend on. And a few examples are uh, when we serve breakfast to our guests, we get our pastries from Au Petit Delice, which is the great pastry shop across the street from the Wayne Hotel. And when our guests need to have their clothes dry cleaned or pressed, we use Omega Cleaners on North Wayne Avenue. Um, so we're very grateful for those folks over there. And then when we need items printed, we often call Mike and Bridget at Mainline Print Shop on West Avenue. The next question is how do we contribute to the community? And uh, there are a lot of ways that we tr contribute, but some of the most significant are that we donate a lot of gift certificates to charity events in the area. We support important organizations like the Wayne Business Association, and we pay taxes so that the township and the county can provide the public services that we all need in order to be able to run our businesses. Um, your next question is, has Wayne changed since I've started working here? And it has very uh, significantly. One of the biggest changes is that we have a lot more restaurants these days and our hotel guests really love having lots of nearby restaurants to choose from when they stay at the hotel, especially if they're staying for several days. Uh, so two changes that I would like to see in Wayne. One is that at some stage I would love to see an outdoor market, maybe on Sundays in the summer. I think that would be fun. It would be a great place for people to gather. And the second uh, thing that I would like us all to be thinking about is how can we support the local community and the local businesses even more? And I've lived in a lot of towns in a lot of countries all over the world. And I can definitely say that Wayne, Pennsylvania is one of the most special towns uh, that I have ever known. Um, there's a great sense of community here and uh, also a lot of great local businesses. So I want you guys to always remember that these local businesses, these small locally owned independent businesses, they started with somebody's dream and they go a long way to making Wayne feel very special. And so it's extremely important for us all to try and support those businesses as much as we can. So after this lockdown is over, um, it would be really great to remind your friends and your family, your community, that if there's something that you can get in Wayne or something that you can do in Wayne, whether it's shopping, uh, going for a meal, going to the movie theater, uh, if mom is going to the spa or someone's going out to get their nails done. Um, and uh, it's really important for us to remember that we can choose somewhere in Wayne maybe before we think about going to the mall, because if we invest in our local community by supporting the businesses that are here, it will benefit us all and help to keep Wayne a very special place. 